Hello to my fab fabulous YouTubers. Um, I'm very sorry about that. I couldn't spit it out. Um, I thought I'd just do a nice little ranking, actually. Um, even though I was kind of was not anticipating this, I wanted to kind of review these movies before doing a ranking. But honestly, I'm really in the mood to rank the movies. So, let's just go ahead and just get started here. And this is going to be a surprise. It's not um, Halloween. And I know you're probably thinking it's going to be Halloween, but nope. I am going to do Nightmare on Elm Street, which is a franchise that I always liked. A lot back in the day and I still really love the franchise but my opinions on the franchise has kind of changed over the years so I thought I'd just you know give you quick little thoughts about them and I'll probably will do full-on reviews of them down the road I promise you guys that but for now I figure let's go ahead and just rank these movies based on my feelings right now so let's go ahead and get it started here and and before we start doing this I want to let you know that um i don't own the remake i don't own the remake so it'd be a little weird to it would be a little too disrespectful how to rank that but let's just go ahead and get through the list and uh and we'll go from there what is the worst nightmare on elm street out there and this one is not going to be a surprise because i'm pretty sure everyone can agree that this one is you know pretty bad that is freddy's dead the final nightmare um yeah, um, this movie is just, oh my god, what, if this really would have been the last of the franchise, what a really, would have ended by a whimper. Like, this movie, you have Freddy who goes from being a menacing, threatening, evil man to being like a, a cartoonish like boogeyman who literally kills people with Looney Tune style um like kills like you got him killing somebody putting him in like a video game and then you got you know someone dying like on a spike bed and I know um that's probably spoiling the movie a little bit but if you've never even seen this movie please don't even waste your time with the um I will definitely say some positive things about it though. I do like Lisa Zane as Freddy's daughter. But then other than that, there's not really a lot of good I can give to this movie. It's just um just a piece of shit, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so that is my um number nine. And number eight, I decided to go with Nightmare on Street Five, The Dream Child. Now this one is really one movie I can never get into I really never liked this movie um, and and upon now I still don't root really all that much but I can give it a little bit of more appraisal now uh, what I love about the movie is that I love the the whole tone of the movie I love the atmosphere it really has like that gothic like film noir type of feel but I really don't like Freddy in it. Like, you really have this movie that really feels like, you know, a movie that can be really terrifying to watch. But then when Freddy comes around, he kind of just ruins the feel of the movie. He's just way too comedic. And this is really when Freddy was becoming way, way too um, kind of like jokey. He's not, you know, scary at all. However, there are a lot of good kills in this movie, but they could have been a lot better if the MPAA did not butcher this movie. And this is the only film of the franchise that had a battle with the MPAA, which is really, really weird to me. But, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, it's, um, I would definitely say it's way better than uh, Freddy's Dead, but that's not really saying a whole lot. This is really a movie that I do try to kind of avoid like if i'm gonna uh watch these movies i don't really like to think about nightmare on street 5 so there's that now at number seven would be the remake to be totally honest i first saw it back in 2010 i really really despised it and why did i despise it 
for the simple fact it's a classic movie that did not need a remake um i just did not get why like come on new line are you serious but now that i've looked back at it after you know all these years you know the years have passed um i do praise jackie earl haley he actually was a pretty good freddy i'm not gonna lie about that but i really did not like Rooney Mara as the main, you know, girl. Um, she, you know, is a actress you cannot respect as a horror fan because she hated the movie so much that she just trashed the movie. She trashed the whole genre, trashed the fans, and I don't feel like you can't respect an actress who doesn't like what you like. So... Um, yeah, I think the remake, it's definitely, you know, a, a remake to avoid, but, um, if you, um, had to choose between the remake or the original, uh, just go watch the original, it's way better. Number six, I'm, this one's gonna surprise a lot of you, um, it's a good movie, but it's just my personal opinion, and that is... Uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. The reason why I have it this low on the list, why is it everyone I know thinks this is like the third best of the franchise or it's a return to form, and it is a return to form. I am going to admit to that. It is a return to form, but the reason why I don't rank this very high is that it's not really a go-to Nightmare on Elm Street to me. It, it's uh, the film of the series that ignores all the movies, like... It's set in reality. You got Heather Lane Camp playing as herself, and then, uh, then this like demon creature thing of you know kind of like takes transition as Freddy into Wes Craven's mind, like thinking of like a more demonish type of Freddy, and I do like that, but. Like I said, it's just not a go-to Nightmare on Elm Street movie to me. Like, it's set way too much in the daytime. It just feels a little bit too dramatic to me. And there's not really... If you're going into this for a slasher, uh, this one is not going to be, you know, a fun one. But it's very well made. But yeah, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Um, it's my number six. Okay, now we're getting into my top five. So, and these are movies I do really... Um, well, after... Uh, well, this one is the first one I really do like. Just the last three I really did not like. So, And that number five is Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Um, this is probably the most nostalgic Nightmare on Elm Street to me because I watched this one quite a bit when I was younger. It's definitely got an MTV feel. This is came out when Freddy really became an icon some decent kills i think alice is a great final girl but my problem with this movie is that i think if you watch it now more grown up it doesn't really hold up as well because like you do realize that this is really where freddy started becoming much more comedic even though i'm i keep on saying that as like chronological order but here I'm going to admit with uh, the third installment. That is the very first movie where uh, Freddy became comedic. But he kept an even balance. But as the rest of the films went on, he just became more you know, of a comedian than being a threat. Um, and, another film that, uh, and another thing that really makes this film stand out to me is I really love the song... The, from the opening credits um, played by uh, Tuesday Night. I really do love the song. I forget what it's called. Uh, Run From This Nightmare. Or it's called just Nightmare. I do for... I, I'm sorry. I really do not have the name of it in my head, honestly. Um, I love that song. I kind of... I will listen to that song quite a bit. It's definitely got an awesome 80s feel. And this is definitely a, a film from the... Uh, it's a product of the 80s, honestly. So, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, it's not, it's not, you know, a great movie. I'm not going to admit, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but I do enjoy this one. Now, at number four is going to be Freddy vs. Jason. And I love Freddy vs. Jason. I don't care what anyone says. 
um, Freddy vs. Jason, for as much development hell this film really went through, I think what we ended up getting with this movie was was great. I think um, the fights with them are great. I really do like a lot of the characters, like Monica Kina. She's a great final girl. Uh, Jason Ritter is awesome as well. I just don't like Jason in it. I really don't like Ken Kersinger as Jason. He's not. He just plays the character as just being nothing but a brainless zombie. I don't like that. But this is a fun movie. I enjoy watching this to death. So I highly recommend Freddy vs. Jason. And then at number three, I'm going to give it to Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Um, I do love this movie. I've always really liked this movie. Um, I think it's definitely the most, um, you know, dark. It's the darkest movie of the franchise. And Freddy is really, once again, at his darkest. And this is what I love about my Freddy is that he is not comedic. He's just, you know, very, you know, evil. And I know that this movie has gained a cult following from the gay community because of the gay undertones. And I never noticed that until seeing the Never Sleep Again documentary. And now just even knowing about that makes this movie just much more effective to me. And I think Mark Patton is a great uh, leading guy. I would technically say he's the final girl because he's the first male scream queen as he's been quoted. Um, so yeah, I do enjoy uh, Freddy's Revenge. This is definitely one of the best of the franchise. This is a great movie to me. I don't care what you all say. This one is definitely worth a watch. Um, it's considered a black sheet to some, but I don't think it deserves that. Um, and it's, it was really tough for me to really kind of rank my last two favorites. But I'm going to give it to the original. And the reason why I rank the original is because this is truly the best of the franchise. I just think uh, number three is my favorite. But the original, classic. Freddy is just, you know, a great character. Heather Langenkamp is a great final girl. Um, you got John Saxon as her father. Johnny Depp in his very first role. This is just a movie that is timeless it is timeless like halloween and then dream warriors is my favorite and this is you know the one i watched the most it you know has the best you know plot of the whole franchise because i just love the fact that you know these kids they're scared of freddy and we're thinking you know what we're gonna fight back let's use our dream power to stop freddy that is just a great idea that it's the best idea that the series has ever did. And I love that. Oh, my favorite. I don't care. This one's my favorite. And that is it, you guys. Um, sorry that the last two I kind of just went through really quick. Uh, my camera is about to run out, so I just want to get through that really quick. But I do love these two. I'll, and again, I'm going to give full-on reviews of these, so... Um, thank you all for watching. This is my Nightmare on Stream ranking. Um, and hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you later.